Hello, Internet. This is Geekish. My name is Jonathan, and welcome back to my puke paper smile. Recently, Chapter 3, An Untimely Departure, was released on Steam, and I'm excited to get back into it. This dark and dingy world of creepy two dimensional things. So, without any further ado, let's dive back in. Oh, wait, hold on. Ding. We'll reset it. Same file from our chapter already exists. Continuing, we'll reset it. I don't know what that's supposed to mean. There's not a. There's not a uh, continue option. Can I just click there? Oh, okay. Load save. <laughs> I don't know if this is going to spit me back in. Oh, we're going to go all the way back here. Okay, no, we're not going to. Hold on. Ah, main menu. So it won't just continue me from there. So I'll just start with the new, with the new chapter. Continue. Stuff tends to reset between chapters, it looks like, from previous experience and stuff. Chapter 3. Where do I lie? What walls surround me now? Whose voice spoke to me and gave me comfort? My spirit was too feeble to take notice before my veins were filled with slumber was outside the village, looking over her uninviting walls. Two figures came, and now I sleep. I must awaken and discover what has happened to me. Sounds like a solid plan. It's still dark. I'm not sure if it's ever daylight here. Hey! Whoa, it's one of you guys. Hi. Welcome to the King's Village, dear child. Do not fear. I am one of the heretics, a disjointed band of authorities who are no longer royal to the king. Loyal to the king. You must know that we wish you no harm, and will give you shelter and protection from the loyals. Do you know where my friend is? I do not know who you speak of, but we may still be able to help you. We heretics will need your help, though. And a meeting is to be held this night to discuss your arrival. I will leave you to rest, but you should go down to the chapel and speak with our leader as soon as you are ready. Achievement unlocked. Not all bad. Oh, I don't have my my knifey. Mr. Stabby is gone. I have a name now. You have you now have a name. It whispers to you, but you can't understand what it says. Still can't take off my face, and it's still not a good idea to take away my life, though. Boop. Hey, that's the hunter. I think. It's like some fan art. That's cool. I got it here. Boop. This letter is to inform all house leaders that an unknown number of the rank of authorities has started an unworthy rebellion against our hailed leader, his perfection. Anyone with knowledge of this group must notify all district leaders and in return will be spared and rewarded heavily for their cooperation. Okay, so we got people turning on their neighbors. Can I have my knife? I don't remember if I lost it at the end of the last episode. The last chapter. I don't think I lost it at the end of the last chapter. I got a sprint option. Hi. Can I? Can't talk to you? Okay. Hello. Why are y'all still wearing the hats? Major letter, pass on this later. Another request of his perfection. It is commanded that all chapel elders and district leaders inform those under their guidance that a male joyous, entering his seventh year, has escaped from facility 12. Any authority overseeing any group of the joyous must take note of attendance hourly and file daily reports to your district postmaster. A box of faces. It's a weird place. What do you got here? Four mile houses, unknown number of rank authorities, blah, 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 blah. Same. Okay. I can't get out of 
that there. Nothing else going on over here. What a, hold on. I gotta, my microphone is in a different position now, and I gotta up the volume a little bit to, uh, the input volume to make sure it doesn't sound bad. So we'll have to adjust that in editing. But that should be good. All right. Let's see what's downstairs. Got my head bob. All right, a bunch of beds. Just of extra faces. Uh, trying to keep an eye out for small. Can I click? Well, I can't click on this. So no, no, no. Okay. Trying to keep an eye out for little things on the floor. That thing before, little like tickets or coins or what have you. Y'all are still creepy as frip. I'm just gonna say it. Oh, chapel's right here. I thought I was gonna have to go outside. Um. Hi. Why y'all still creepy? Welcome, child. Do come forward. I don't trust anybody in this world. <laughs> I wouldn't even trust my friend if I found him again at this point. They are all disturbing. Not cool. I don't like them. I don't like them, Sam I am. I've got one horn and it appears to be part of my mask. I was told that you would like to speak with me. Yes, for there are many things you must know. I am leader of the heretics, a small band of rebel authorities that wish to overthrow the king and stop his operation. We have been keeping careful watch of things and a sudden opportunity has arisen. The king is making an unexpected trip to the village tonight, so he will be vulnerable. A chance like this is rare, and we must learn exactly where he will be so we might plan an attack accordingly. Since learning of his scheduled arrival, we have attempted to summon the lost child to gain this information, but he fails to respond. You too can hear his voice? Many of us heretics can, but he has been silent as of late. As the only child to escape the facility, you may be able to successfully summon him and aid us in overthrowing him. I must speak to the lost child as well and be pleased to help him. I do hope that you might help me find my friend as well. We will discuss that more later. Some preparations must be made before tonight's meeting. I'm calling it right now, all the adults just using me. Just, just using the children, they don't care. While you wait, I suggest you speak with the heretics in the other room who have some questions for you. I mean, they could have asked me before when I was puttering about, but sure. Wait, is this the other room? No, I just go outside. I can't go outside. Everywhere I go, I get locked up in places. What's up? Can I? Can't talk to you? Okay. Oh, over here. Stabby McStab Slash. Oh, I got a thing. What'd I get? Small breaker. A small chunk of money maybe useful for some contraption. One of five. Oh, uh, I didn't get anything in full. The last two chapters. We found this knife under your coat while you slept. This came from the shrine of the facility, did it not? Yes, it caught my attention once I saw it, so I took it. What blood is this along the blade? I took some of the blood to create a name. Did you successfully create it? Yes, I did. Child, do you know the purpose of the name? Probably not. My name is what allows you to be in the village and visit the king. Well, that was wrong. Who told you this? A hunter who I met while in the woods. There is some truth to what he told you, but it is important that you know its true function. When a child from the facility passes their tests for long enough, passes their tests for long enough, the loyals create a name for that child. The name predicts the future of the child that it belongs. Child. Excuse me. The child's future is desirable, and that child is allowed into the village to continue to play. The names of each joyous must indicate that they will not rebel. Can you decipher my name? No, but I am sure it will be discussed at tonight's meeting. The king enchanted this blade long ago with a spell that could determine if a child might be perfect. If the blade detects purity in the child's heart, then it disappears, so that the child will not be killed. Because you took the blade, a group of loyals brought a child here to because you took the blade, a group of loyals brought a child here to the village. Once the loyals realize that the knife is still missing, they'll become suspicious. We aren't sure what to do with it yet, but thank you for the information. Our leader may be ready to begin the meeting, so we will see you in the chapel shortly. Well, give me back! I want Stabby back! Let's go 
to go into the chapel and I'm gonna get murdered. Probably. What's up, yo? Everything is prepared. Our meeting will begin. It's darker. I think I need dark, man. As you are all aware, we are gathered together to discuss a plan and an attack against the king. He is making a rare, unexpected trip to the village this very night. We have found the escaped child before the loyal, so we may be able to summon the lost child. With luck, he may be able to tell us exactly where the king will be and when he will be there. Dear Joyous, would you call out to the lost child? Sure. Lost child, will you speak to us? Reminds me of uh, Scotty from Buther. I hear you, and I'll speak to you. Lost child, as you are aware, we have to open the throne of the king. Excuse me. Kind of late. It has come to our attention that he will be in the village this night, and we must know where he will be. Your enthusiasm is commendable. I am sad to tell you that he will be visiting the column, which will be holy guarded. I don't remember what voice I was doing with the lost child in the last chapter, so deal with it. What purpose does the king have at the column? This boy's friend has been captured and brought there for reckoning. That doesn't sound good. They believe he may be the perfect child. It's gonna play Kingdoms of Amalur? Sounds actually it's a good game. This is why the king is making such an urgent visit. Will we save my friend? Will I see him again? The column is heavily guarded. We can't get to him safely. We must travel up the mountain and ambush the king as he is escorted back to his castle. Is there truly no way that we might aid this child's friend? Saving him will aid a revolt. Therefore, I do not see it fit. I feel my presence may attract unwanted attention to this place. You have all the information you need to make your decision. But lost child, wait one moment before you go. The boy has created a name and it is yet to be interpreted. Is he indeed? Show it to me. Why is that a name a thing? She looks like a wad of cashews. What does it say? Vincent. Or Vin Vincent. Yeah, I thought I was gonna say Vincent. Child, your name is Vincent. Oh dear! Well, that's bad. Can I go get stabby now, please? There are authorities outside. The loyals have found us. Quickly, take the child and get to safety. As soon as you can, meet us outside the northern gate. Quick, let me go get stabby first. Hold on. No, let me get stabby. Damn it. I want stabby back. Let's get you across the district to safety. There will be loyals which in the streets, so I'll need to hide you. I'll need to hide you in the shadows of the alleys to avoid detection. When we're in the alleys, unequip your life. This way you won't be spotted. Follow me as safely as you can. But I want Stabby. I want Stabby back. Are we in the alley? No, this is... for like stuff that they need me to collect me hiding. So, go back. Hold on. Hold on. I might get caught. See a guy right there, but I want to go look back. Okay, another near. Another near. Nothing to see here. Wait, I thought I saw a thing. No. Nope. Oh, it was a gate that I can't open. Okay, screw you then. Oh, look at that. I just skipped past the thing, apparently. Get in here. Oh, 
like that. Good job, child. The loyals won't suspect me of anything, so I'll go to the next gate to start picking the lock. Follow with care, and don't forget about the safety of the Alice. Explore. I'm gonna explore more, but there's guys everywhere, and I think I can get over there. Destination isn't much far. Oh, okay, maybe I can just uh, slip through here. Ah, eh, boop. Is it just the one guy? over here. Frick, 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 frick. No, screw you. I'm fast. You're a small child. Dang it. <laughs> you think? Oh, I clicked before I saw his face. Here is this now. Oh, is this the next portion? Did it just skip me ahead? Yeah, it looks like it did. Cool. up with this place?
angle. here already. What's going to go on? Spoopy! This is where we must part. Beyond this door is the joyous district. You will blend in and be able to travel with more freedom. But before we depart, take this. Debbie? It is a key that you should have. I believe your devotion to your friend is very noble. I would do anything to help him, for reasons that I've never adequately explained. I commend you, and want to help you find him. The key unlocks an old entrance to an unknown village known as the Underland. Its passage connects to the column, where your friend is being held. Travel toward the column, the tall structure in the distance, and you'll find a collapsed building. That is where the entrance to the Underland hides, and the path to your friend. Waits. I thank you very much, kind of heretic. <laughs> Wish you luck, Vincent. Can I not afford the end to just get the full Vincent? 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 Guess not. For chump. Game saved. All right, well, that seems about as good a place to end an episode as any. So. Oh, I'm excited. Are any of you guys excited? Back into it. Back into the creepy world. Oh, it's going to be fun. So, ah, if you liked today's episode, hit that like button. If you really liked it, consider subscribing. If you do subscribe, you know, hit that little bell so you get notified about all the future videos we got coming up. But whatever you do, I'm always Jonathan. This is always Geekish. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.